안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. My name is Miss Lee from Chail Worldwide. Uh, before I talk about the Tesco virtual store, I'd like to tell you about my personal story. I'm a working mom with five years old, three years old, and then also uh, I have another old kid, 38 years old. One day I looked inside my handbag, my purse, then I found these things. I wonder why the stone is there. Yes, that's uh, how I live, uh, extremely busy. Uh, juggling three balls, namely career, child raising, and housework, and I try very hard not to drop any of them. And I go to Mart, uh, such Mart. I'm in this kind of Mart. And next to so many people, I always buy the things that I I always buy the things I don't need, and I just instantly buy something that I didn't need. My kids are nagging at me to buy some cookies next to me. In such a situation, grocery shopping is uh, like a homework to me. Actually, it gives me the dark circle under my uh, eyes. And one day, a mart approached me. Home plus a virtual store. This is the virtual store. Um, on the way to or from work, I scan the QR code of the products, and they are collected in the shopping cart and delivered home upon payment. I did not have to carry around the heavy shopping bags and go through the war zone-like queue at the counter. Uh, moreover, I could actually shop browsing through the products as I as if I am, in fact, inside a mart. Finally, I could enjoy the weekends without homework. Home Plus had the effect of expanding the stores without actually opening the new stores because wherever people are, that place actually became the Home Plus store. In fact, uh, six months after opening the virtual store, the mobile sales have increased by 2,000%. As of um, the May, it has recorded the highest mobile shopping sales ratio out of three competitors. The idea of Tesco Home Plus virtual store started in 2007 from outdoor advertis advertisement. It received a bronze award in the outdoor advertisement section in Cannes. At that time, it was simply an advertisement to promote the recently opened Home Plus store near the subway station. It was uh, just an advertisement wrapped around the subway station pillar with the photos. Uh, it doesn't really look very different from the actual stores. Uh, by grafting the digital technology using the QR code, traditional advertisement uh, became a space where induced consumer participation and again transformed into the space where purchases could take place. After Home Plus Virtual Store were introduced, a lot of copycats came into market in many countries. Uh, you have heard uh, stores like Walmart, Kmart, and also of various brands dealing with various products such as books, toys, cosmetics, cos uh, clothing, set up their own virtual stores. In the meantime, the digital technology has advanced and the number of smartphone users increased rapidly. And then, how are uh, virtual stores evolving? We could take a few, uh, we could look at a few cases. Firstly, we can look at the QR trucks of PNG and Walmart. They show up in New York downtown for the pedestrians to shop. And uh, they also show up in parking lots of Walmart. We all know how difficult then it is to buy heavy washing powder, a bulky toilet paper. We we'll know about that. However, on the way to the mart, uh, inside the QR truck in the parking lot, we find the toilet papers and washing powders, and they are delivered uh, at the same price as the store. They're delivered to your house. 
and this actually uh, solves a lot of inconvenient um, problems such as delivery. It's also be beneficial to Walmart as well. PNG thought of the virtual store in the form of trucks that are suitable for their business nature, and they found out the right place, which is a mart parking lot, and they they, through Twitter, they broadcast the moving location of these trucks live. This time, we can have a look at the Kate Spade. And the Kate Spade Saturday and the shop um, window of eBay cooperated. When the Kate Spade launched, they have uh, cooperated and they rented an empty shop in Manhattan. And, once you open the door, uh, it looks like it's the actual store, but they only use the facade of the store. And they can be delivered once ordered within one hour in uh, New York City. Young target consumers and the price range was really suitable for uh, virtual stores. And uh, moreover, new uh, branding launching usually requires uh, big uh, store space, but this shoppable window needed only about 20% of the actual store, which is only 2,000 square uh, feet. They could open the store in the location with uh, lots of floating population. And one thing to notice is that the virtual store actually became good looking. Now, this is the virtual store selling watches. And the visually and efficiently, it is very, it's worth. And um, you can see, actually, that it can convey the brand concept. And it gives, uh, it, it displays more. It gives a more than display effect. Now, uh, let's have a look at the small business owners using the virtual stores. In the Netherlands, uh, uh, there is a, a street called the Nine Little Streets where small and distinctive shops are gathered, about 30 shops on this street. They have gathered together and set up one online shop. Online shops were very popular, but um, there was not much fun, such as shop hopping. Therefore, Nine Little Streets cooperated with PayPal and launched an online shopping route called Q Route. Even after the shops are closed, shoppers purchase the products using QR code on the show window, shop window. Q Route became a first street in New York in Europe where 24-hour shopping became possible. And the difference of between the shoppable window and then the, this one, uh, this one, the, 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 the difference is that uh, the second, part, second example actually is connected to uh, online shopping. Q route made a 24-hour shopping possible in Europe for the first time. And uh, there is another advantage other than the extended business hours. Shoppers that visited Nine Little Street could extend their feelings in the online shops. Thanks to the experiences of, on, of offline stores, online stores could be transformed into a space filled with emotions and experiences. Um, uh, what about applying it to the street in Hong Kong uh, where a lot of tourists visit? After returning to their countries, they could, uh, could they not buy their pleasant Hong Kong experiences in online shops as well? It, it is possible. Lastly, it is the case, uh, case for the online shop to maximize the benefits of off offline stores. This is the Hointer uh, a jean store for men, where smartphones and robotic technology control the shopping experience. Just like women, men in particular do not like a shopping many times. It is very pesky to stand in the queue with the several pieces of clothes in hand and try the clothes in the small fitting room 
or they don't bother to ask the store staff for different sizes or different colors. However, sometimes we have to ask in uh, naked, uh, without clothes on. However, in Hointer, clothes are very well displayed attractively by different types. Uh, once selecting uh, the favorite one, shoppers can c uh, scan the QR code. That's all they have to do. And then shoppers can select the size and color by smartphone. And 30 seconds later, the shoppers uh, can go to the fitting room and uh, try. The shoppers can just try the size. If the item doesn't fit, uh, shoppers can um, apply the different size on the application. And 30 seconds later, again, the shoot spits out the new item. In case of a point of store, stands do not have to stock up the products other than the displayed ones. Shoppers can enjoy the bigger space in the same uh, room. Uh, clothes do not have to be taken out from the jam-packed hangers, or fitting room can be uh, larger. In addition, a waiting time and excessive attention or intervention, uh, waiting time can be reduced. Hointer realized the benefit of online shopping and offline shopping. At the same time, people can enjoy the pleasure, comfort, and the relaxation that can be expected in offline shopping. As in shopping in Pointer, uh, is it actually uh, online shopping or offline shopping? I like this. A uh, distinction between the online and the offline shopping is becoming ambiguous. Uh, even if the online is becoming more powerful, but at the same time, people stick to traditional shopping. In between the advancement of the technology and human psychology, how would online shopping and offline shopping evolve? If 3D technology or augmented reality uh, technology becomes more advanced, could it really satisfy people's desire to see and touch the product, or people's desire to buy the product on the side? Can it be uh, resolved by speedy uh, delivery technology? And if then, um, can virtual shopping become the real shopping? Uh, perhaps. I believe that you have to answer for it. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. It's very, very interesting. Thank you. I think we are just okay. Just waiting for the translator to come on stage. While we're doing that, are there any questions in the audience? Are we okay. Okay. I have a question then, if no one else does. Um, how have so you talked about the solutions, the um, storefront, the Kate Spade storefront. How, sorry, how do you think um, this type of shopping has changed the way people buy? Do they buy more? Do they buy less? Are they buying differently? Okay, if we actually look at the, the age groups of the customers, actually, in the shopping, shoppable window and the mobile uh, shoppings, the, the age of the consumers has become younger. The younger generation bought more. 그리고 모바일 쇼핑에 접근하는 친숙 친숙해하는 사람들이 많아졌기 때문에 그 이후 온라인 매출이 많이 올랐습니다. 
So since there are more uh, people who are used to the mobile shopping, the online shopping uh, sales has increased. Yes. So it's increased from the young people mostly. Okay. Because of the online, the, the shoppable windows and this kind of uh, different models, the online shopping sales has increased. Do you think that this is something that is going to be more for the mass market in the long term or for the higher end market? So we saw Tesco's, for instance, which is a mass, you know, everyday products. And then we had the Kate Spade example, which was the more one off. You wouldn't buy this every day. So is it where, where do you think it's going to go? Okay, at the beginning, actually, it started at the, the mass market. However, as I explained briefly about the, the virtual shop selling watches, but the high-end brand, uh, they uh, also started focusing on the emotion, uh, emotion and the value. And for, more? finally for me, do you think this is a long-term proposition or do you think it's something that is a novelty or a fad and people will get used to going back to stores again? 이게 어떤 일시적으로 유행을 할 것으로 보는지 아니면 장기적으로 계속 이런 추세가 갈 것인지 그런 것 초창기 2011년도 시작할 때는 마케팅 이벤트를 위한 수단으로 많이 쓰였습니다. 하지만 지금도 계속 진화하고 있고 여전히 버추얼 스토어가 계속 생겨나고 있습니다. 앞으로도 at the beginning in 2011 um, it actually started as a marketing event. However, there are still a new virtual stores coming up and also these virtual stores are evolving. 기술이 아마도 더 유행을 시키지 않을까 싶습니다. I believe the advanced technology will actually spread further. Okay. Thank you. Is there any Is there a microphone up the front please? Um hello. And you know the campaign-based marketing is good, you know, to arouse awareness. And um, do you think, you know, you can? What, what are you going to do for your brand to sustain that um, 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 a loyalty, you know, from your customers? The brand, brand loyalty를 사실 처음에 흥미를 가지고 흥미로서 접근했던 사람들도 한번 이 패턴이 익숙해지자 계속 이 버추얼 스토어를 이용하게 되었습니다. Once the, the consumer actually start to pay attention or start to have interest in the virtual stores, they have a they had a pattern of using it over and over and again. 그래서 지속적인 노출을 하는 것이 아마도 유리할 것으로 생각됩니다. I believe the sustainable exposure will help the brand loyalty. Is there, is there a point at which, is there a point at which um, you walk out of the station, you see the, the, for instance, the Tesco store, right? And after a while, once we do that regularly, we start to ignore what's around us. Is there a point at which this becomes something you ignore and is part of the environment? How do you, how do you? get people to continue to see that if we start to build these out in the in the city. The First of all, at the beginning, the Home Plus store actually simply displayed, and the second stage was we sorted the products by the group. 
연휴와 관련된 바캉스와 관련된 제품을 판매하고요. 시즌별로 아니면 지역별로 타겟을 나누어서 색 다른 디자인으로 구성하였습니다. We have actually continuously created some kind of event during the vacation or by the season or by the different regions. 그리고 아까 보신 쇼퍼블 윈도우처럼 디자인이나 외관을 바꾸는 것도 방법일 것 같습니다. And another way to continuously have the people interest is actually to uh, introduce a shoppable window or change the design or display patterns. Okay, perfect. Are there any questions that I haven't spotted? Sorry. No? Perfect. On that note, thank you very much, Mrs. Fascinating. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.